we have discussed how China continues to wow the world with its achievements in the space sector, from constructing its space station to sending a rover to the far side of the moon to developing new technologies that will influence future generations. Before the Tang on space station was finished, the Chinese space program may have simply seized control of the race to the stars. For their space experiments, the major space experiments, the major space station used the International Space Station. As the Ten Dawn aims to outlive the eyes, which is anticipated to retire in the upcoming years, attention has now turned to China. China now enjoys a position of dominance in the space industry and has consistently invited other countries to participate in open collaboration in this field. One thing has been made clear by the removal of the space station. China is no longer a burgeoning space power. It already has control. Their activities may have supplanted American dominance in space. In this episode, we'll discuss how China has startled NASA and the United States by assuming control of the space race after building its own space station. This is a space race. The Chinese space cooperation with other nations in space has long been discussed. The Tiangong is now officially finished and will assist China further grow and extend their partnerships with other countries in the state sector, as we spoke in one of our earlier episodes about how China will take over and lead the space culture for nations all across the world. This applies to both the main space powers and the smaller countries that are eager to explore space but may need assistance from the more powerful space states. Comparatively speaking, the Tiangong is smaller than the Yid. However, as stated by the Chinese Space Agency, it will still host experiments by other countries. These studies will result in innovations across a wide range of fields and improve China's position as a space power. Not just the Tiangong Space Station helped China gain an advantage in the race to the moon. Significant improvements have been made because to their technological developments in the space industry and several pioneering missions Although it is obvious that a partnership between China and the U.S. will considerably advance space research, the U.S. side has consistently expressed its position and avoided the Chinese Space Agency, which we shall discuss later in this episode. After the construction of their space station, China's primary issue appears to be how to dispose of the waste generated by operating the station. Most nations either try to dispose of their rocket bodies by reusing them or by conserving some fuel to enable a controlled ascent into the atmosphere. Thus, they are prevented from lingering in low Earth orbit, where they may endanger satellites and space station. However, the last two Long March rocket stages used by China's space program to hoist station components both crashed, with one falling into the Indian Ocean not far from the Maldives. Two weeks after the Wenchang land module launch in July, the rocket that propelled it disintegrated into fragments, some of which fell on Malaysia and Indonesia. China has previously struggled to remove space debris, and its rockets have uncontrolled crashed into the Earth's atmosphere, drawing criticism from the United States. In addition to experiments, rovers, and manned, unmanned flights, China has shown that maintaining one's own space station is the most reliable method to stay a space power. To put it mildly, building a space station from scratch without assistance or participation from anybody else is a tremendous accomplishment. For the past few years, the International Space Station has elevated NASA to a position of prominence. But that position appears to be waning. ISIS's decommissioning and projected retirement are both scheduled for 2028 and 2030, respectively. Without a question, the ISIS has accomplished its mission, but its replacement is set to take over. Tiangong's lifetime is expected to be between 10 and 15 years, with a potential extension, according to the Chinese space program. The Biden administration assigned the considerably bigger ISIS, which is administered by the United States, the European Space Agency, Russia, and other partners, a retirement date of 2030 after extending its mission last year. Keep in mind that due to the political unrest after the Russian invasion of Ukraine, Russia is also anticipated to leave the International Space Station. Although it is yet unclear what will happen in the future, the withdrawal of Russia will be a blow to ISIS. Tiangong was constructed in China in just one and a half years, despite the fact that planning for the station started in 2011 with the launch of the first of two test versions. The first astronauts landed in June of that year after the core module Tierney was launched in April 2020. One, the following module went online in July 2022, and the last one this week, the T-shaped station, 
which is connected to the core by two lab modules, is comparable in size to the groundbreaking space station that functioned in the 1980s and 1990s, but the Chinese space program has repeatedly stated that their station is in no way a rival to the much larger resistance. Through collaborations with China's station, other nations will be able to send experiments and maybe astronauts to Changdong in the future. Researchers from European universities and other nations have suggested experiments on a variety of subjects, from gamma ray bursts to space medicine and atomic clocks, and it already has a Saudi Arabian experiment on board. However, unlike the IS, which constantly relies on the cooperation and assistance of its partners, China has distinct goals for Tiangong. Chinese commercial partners may potentially participate by conducting cargo flight. Simply said, there won't be a need for international collaboration to tie the gong. The United States and Russia have previously been the two leading space powers. While Russia has fallen from favor for obvious reasons, NASA is working on its own programs, primarily the Artemis for lunar exploration. The Russian side has experienced a standstill in the space sector after experiencing a continuous reduction in their space exploration. A while back, Russia declared that it will work with China on the moon base project, which is being spearheaded by China. Recently, though, such ambitions appear to be waning despite the Chinese side's silence, the Russian name, and their aspirations for cooperation. All available data and evidence support Russia's withdrawal. This is due to the Russian side's other commitments, not because the friendship between China and Russia has soured. The United States and China are now vying for dominance in the market. However, as evidence would seem to indicate, China has taken control, and as of yet there have been no plans or indications of a partnership between nascent and the Chinese space agency. Additionally, due to security concerns, the Wolf Amendment was passed by the U.S. Congress in 2011 and forbids any cooperation between NASA and the Chinese Space Agency. In addition, NASA has consistently criticized and blamed China's space agency for its past actions. Accusing it of weaponizing space and assuming control of the International Space Station is, say, in order to replace it. Nascent is funding three potential commercial space station projects that could launch as early as the late 2020s. Axiom Space, a private business, is creating a module for the ACES. As part of the Artemis Moon program, NASA and its partners also intend to construct the Gateway Lunar Space Station later this decade. Overall, NASA is already very busy, and while China is also very busy, their cooperation will be beneficial to both larger space powers and smaller countries that might not have the resources to conduct their own experiments. After China won the race to space by finishing its space station, everything about the emerging shock was covered, as well as how China has since become the dominant space power. It's time to conclude this, but if I'll tell that it's not the end, just listen. New China space invention that shocked the world. China become top one in space race. I know you want to know more about this story, so just click on this video right here.